my Don't you touch any of that stuff. This is my house. You asshole. Get him out of here. Your mother loves you. You love your mother. You're an asshole. Please, Chief. Welcome back to the Civil Rights Lawyer channel. You know, it was just a couple of days ago that I had that video talking to Patrick Giacomo from the Institute for Justice about the egregious illegal search on the newspaper in Kansas. Well, newly released video shows the 98-year-old mother of the Kansas newspaper publisher confronting police officers as they searched her home in a raid. Now remember, Patrick said that he thought it had been underreported that not only did they search the newsroom, but they searched this 98-year-old woman's home. Well, here's the video footage. But first, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Factor. Too busy with your end of summer goals to cook, but want to make sure that you're eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you'll have to do is heat and enjoy, and then get back to crushing your goals. This August, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes, no problem. Rep, no mess. With 34 plus chef prepared, dietitian approved weekly options, there's always something new to try. Factor meals arrive pre prepared and ready to eat in two minutes, which is perfect for the hectic life that many of us lead, such as mine. Rarely do I have the luxury of taking much time off for lunch, and when I do, I just don't want to because there's so much work to get done. With Factor meals, I just grab them out of the office fridge, poke a couple of holes in the plastic, and put it in the microwave for just two minutes. Boom done. I have a healthy and delicious lunch in no time, and then I can get back to both trying to practice law and also make videos. Meal plans range from 4 to 18 meals per week, and you can add more or reduce the number depending on your specific needs. Plus, you can easily skip a week if you need to. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CIVILRIGHTSLAWYER50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CIVILRIGHTSLAWYER50 to get 50% off your first factor box. This footage was released Monday showing Joan Meyer shouting at the six officers inside her Marion, Kansas home that she shared with her son, the editor and publisher of that newspaper, Eric Meyer. Standing with the aid of a walker and dressed in a long robe or uh, in gown and slippers, she was visibly upset. Get out of my house. I don't want you in my house, she said at one point. Don't touch any of that stuff, she said at another. Right? Yes. Calling Eric Meyer. Don't you touch any of that stuff. Ma'am. This is my house. I know. You're wasting your breath. Ma'am. Get out of here. You asshole. We'll be out of here pretty quick. Get them out of here. They're here. You got them. Your mother loves you. You love your mother. You're an asshole. Please, Chief. The raids of the newspaper and the homes of Myers and also a city council member happened on August 11th after a local restaurant owner accused the newspaper of illegally accessing information about her. Joan Meyer died a day later and her son said that he believes that the stress of this raid contributed to her death. Get up! Stand outside. You can stand outside that door and you still see them. I don't want you in my house. I don't want you. You do not take that. What? Well, that's a business class for Albert House. What? Leave them that big gas. Is there another one downstairs? Another computer? Thank you. We never went down there, and he stayed up here the whole time. Well, that was the only way. Yeah. What's he doing over there going to the papers? How many computers do you have in the house, man? I'm not going to tell you. Get out of my way. It's all right. I want to see what they're doing. Well, they're working. I don't care what they're doing. You can go on through if you want. What are you doing? Those are personal papers. Those aren't papers. They're electronic devices, which is what the judge said that we're supposed to take. Okay. You people. The coroner's report shows the cause of death as sudden cardiac arrest. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to connect the raid to her sudden cardiac arrest 24 hours later, said Bernie Rhodes, attorney for the paper. 
you can see just how upset she was. We are exploring all of our options, which include a wrongful death lawsuit. Eric had reportedly left the home to go to the newspaper offices, which were also raided that day, along with the home of Vice Mayor Ruth Herbel. Police seized computers, phones, and other equipment in connection with the identity theft investigation. As we discussed before, just days after this raid, the Marion County prosecutor withdrew the warrant, citing insufficient evidence, ordering that all items were to be returned. So apparently the newspaper does intend to file a lawsuit. The family does intend to file a lawsuit, possibly a wrongful death lawsuit um, over the death of this 98 year old woman. And I really feel for this family because I have a 99 year old grandmother and I would hate to see a, a, to think of police in her home treating her this way, though I wouldn't be surprised. There's actually a separate lawsuit under federal law that you can file here under the Federal Privacy Protection Act, which makes it illegal for law enforcement to search newspapers. And as Patrick and I discussed, that could possibly be extended to other sorts of investigative journalists, such as YouTube channels. So there's probably a lot of litigation left to occur there. And then you have your regular Section 1983 lawsuit against all of the police officers as individuals for going inside that home in violation of the Fourth Amendment. Yes, they had a warrant, but it was an invalid warrant. In fact, if you look at the face of the warrant, it doesn't even allege sufficient facts to constitute probable cause. But unfortunately, there's probably not a effective way to sue the judge who signed this illegal and defective warrant. But hopefully there will be judicial disciplinary proceedings in the state of Kansas to discipline this judge for allowing this to occur, which sadly resulted in the death of this 98 year old woman. Now there may be some causation issues. I'm sure they will look into her medical records and the facts more carefully, but I don't doubt it for a second. As always, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe both here and at thecivilrightslawyer.com. As this illustrates, freedom is scary. Deal with it.